Uh, so the next thing is color coding. So apart from apart from annotation, the other option that we can use is color coding. Okay, so we need to classify or to categorize our values, let's say velocity values or pressure values uh, by using color. So we, this color presents the certain values or this color the other values. So let me introduce to you the color coding. Okay, so this is the window that we are having. Uh, what, I, uh, what I need to do is to start uh, dealing with uh, velocity, right? So the field name here, let me select the velocity. Okay, so just make sure that you just go here to pipes and select the color coding. Then from here, this is what we are having. So from here, I need to select the uh, results and select velocity. Okay, you can see the uh, this area here is activated, right? Okay, so from here, what I can do, of course, you, uh, we have the option of uh, using the the range, but what I I want to use is uh, this area here. Now, it says that a velocity uh, or the value less than or equal to, let's say, uh, zero point four. We need to assign uh, such a value with a uh, ready color. Of course, I'll explain to you what the, what does it mean in a second. Let me assign it to a ready color. And the values less than or equal to 1.5. Let me assign it to a purple color. And the values less than or equal to, let's say, a thousand, okay, or a hundred. Let me assign it back to a uh, red color. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, and this is very important, guys. Make sure that you uh, concentrate here. What does this mean? So what I want is that any value that is less than or equal to 0 0.4, then I need to assign that velocity value with red color. And the red color, for my case, I want to uh, assign to the values that I need to edit. Okay, I need to um, at least to provide further auto optimization, right? So any value that is less than or equal to 0 0.4, meaning that that is the value that is not acceptable as far as velocity goes. And any values that is less than or equal to 1.5, but not below 0 0.4. This is very important, guys. Any value, any velocity value that is less than or equal to 1.5, but not less than 0 0.4 should be assigned with a purple color so this is the value that is somehow acceptable right and any values that is greater than 1.5 okay so this is what it means so any values that is uh, greater than 1.5 of course any value that is uh, 2 3 4 5 then we need to assign it again with Red color. So red color is the, any value with red color is the value that we need to um, optimize further. I'll just select apply. Okay. So if I select this a uh, velocity, you can see these are the these are the values that are less than or equal to a uh, 1.5, but they are greater than uh, 0 0.4, and this is the reason why uh, we are having here the purple uh, the purple color. If I go back here, you can, I need to edit. You can see, okay, let me move this this one here. So you can see, uh, uh, let's say uh, 0 0.72. So 0 0.72 is less than or equal to 1.5, but it is greater than 0 0.4, okay? But we are having some uh, red colors here. So the red colors here present the values that are less than 0 0.4, okay? So by any chance, these are the values that we need to to optimize even further okay so let me select apply and okay let me select if there is anything that i can change even further let me select uh, 32 which is one inch pipe and again here 32 and let me see what we are having okay so at least for now this is what we are having okay let me select uh, the unit head losses but you you can see even though the, velo the velocity is okay but the unit head losses are quite big so there is no way i'm going to change I'm, so there is no way i'm going to maintain this 32 i'll just take it back to 
uh, 50 and again this one because yes we have the velocities that are uh, ac acceptable but the unit head losses are way way big so i'll just maintain it to 50. okay okay so that is what we have and of course you can do the same value so let me do it uh, with uh, uh let's say uh pressure of course this is pressure let me select junction again and select annotation then color coding and again i'm going to do the same exercise uh, with uh, with the pressure remember we don't want our system to have pressure less than uh, six meters of water columns of course depends on what you have in your country for my country a uh, six below six meters of water column or 0 0.6 bar that is something that is not acceptable now what i can do is to say that values value equal to oh so before that i need to activate the, the field name let me select results then select the pressure okay so value less than or equal to okay pressure which is meters of water column values less than or equal to zero actually six no 5.99 we, we are going to assign it with the red color and again values are which are greater than six Oh, values which are less than 30 which is 30 meters of water column or, or, or three bars we are, we are going to assign them with purple and again values which are greater than this value okay? we are greater than these values then we are going to assign them with the red color okay so how can we do that so value greater than uh, this value here let me introduce the other uh, any values uh, let's say 150 then we are going to assign it with a red color one more time red color are the values that we need to provide further optimization and as you can see here any value that is less than or equal to a 5.99 we we need to assign that value with the red color and any value that is less than or equal to 30 we need to assign it with a purple again remember any value uh, that is uh, less or equal to 30 but again it is greater than 5.99 okay so from 5.99 all the so from 6 all the way to 30 that is the value that is acceptable and lastly we have this uh, option here so i'll just click okay you can see even by yourself here at least we don't have any value that is less than six um than 5.55 otherwise we would have uh, red colors here but for now at least our model uh, looks perfect of course feel free to go and provide it, um to optimize further your model but for now this is what we are having so the last part is to produce the report for our model again this is very very important guys now from here what i can do is to select i need to select uh, the report here the report option the report option now from here the first report that i need to produce is pipe inventory okay so this is the beauty of our, our water gems everything uh, that you need as an engineer is pro is provided right in front of you so from for, so for pipe so pressure pipes inventory i'll just select this you can see this is what we are having so this is the diameter and this is the length okay so the diameter and so this is the di is the diameter but the length here is zero so for 90 we have this uh, length so what you can do or what you can do is to select this And then to produce this beautiful uh, inventory of course if you want to provide this to the quantity survey people then you can just give them at least to simplify their work okay because this one here you can see each pipe and its length and this is very uh useful and the other option 
the other option is to go to report and again select the flex table and select the pipes okay so the idea is to take all of these values here and make sure that we are inserting them to we copy them to the excel okay so for further a process okay so from here what i can do is to click here just make sure that you highlight everything and then from here just select this copy and then copy with headers then from here what i can do of course you can use even your excel it is okay so from from here what i can do is to paste then okay so this is the values that we are having okay so you can just do that with any other uh, value so for me that is what i am having so that is the end of today's uh, tutorial if you get anything out of this uh, tutorial make sure that you hit that like button and make sure that you share this tutorial with your friend of course just to help me to reach more people on the youtube and even outside the youtube with that being said thank you and i will see you in the next tutorial thank you